First of all, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us today in person at the Enterprise Center on YouTube and the app. We have come together today to introduce the leadership group for the 23-24 Blues season. The organization is proud to announce Robert Thomas, Justin Fault, Colton Pranko as assistant captains, and Braden Shen as the 24th captain in Blues history. As we explored the best direction for the organization moving forward, it became clear that this team needed a veteran player with vast experiences on and off and on and off the ice to hold the title of captain. As we transition into a new era of Blues hockey, having a been there, seen that, done that leader was necessary. With that said, the NHL has evolved and no one person can be held solely responsible for the team. The responsibility to prepare on and off the ice is an individual choice. What we have passed on to this leadership group is the shared responsibility to create and maintain a standard that will make our city and fans proud. Ultimately, our belief that each group functions best with a focal point leader that has the trust of his teammates, coaches, and the organization as a whole. Braden Shen has experience, courage, toughness, and knowledge that is needed for this group now and moving forward. It is Craig's and my privilege now to present Braden with his new jersey with the C proudly stitched on. Uh, I just want to say uh, uh, thanks to everyone for coming. And uh, uh, most importantly, those guys sitting to the left of me right now, uh, my teammates, it's a pretty special day. Um, you know, standing up here, uh, being the captain of the St. Louis Blues, um, you know, something I'll remember forever. But, you know, remember you guys showing up for me, uh, you know, means a lot. Uh, these are the guys that I uh, come to battle and, and, and war every day and enjoy being at the rink with them. So I just want to say thanks to you guys. Um, thanks to uh, uh, Mr. Stillman um, and the ownership team, uh, Doug and his man management team and, and chief and the, the coaching staff for uh, believing in me that uh, me and, uh, you know, my the leaders that we have on our team as well with, with Justin and Colton and, and Robert, that we are the guys to, uh, you know, uh, get this team in the right direction, um, you know, lean on each other and, uh, um, you know, uh, you know, keep pushing it forward in the right direction. Uh, St. Louis Blues is a, a, you know, pretty historic franchise with many great leaders. If you look around, um, you know, the list of guys of been the captain of the St. Louis Blues before with, you know, the Plager brothers to Bernie Federico, uh, kind of the uh, era of I grew up watching with Gretzky Hall, uh, Pronger, McInnes, um, you know, to be uh, in history with the St. Louis Blues of, of being a captain with those guys, it's, it's pretty special and a tremendous honor and I'm excited for the opportunity and challenge. And, you know, most recently with, with Petro and Ryan O'Reilly too, uh, I've learned a ton from those guys. Those guys were great leaders, different leaders. And, uh, you know, just from my experiences, um, I'm going to try and, uh, you know, lean on that uh, kind of over my 13 years that I've been playing and, and uh, you know, like I said, move this thing in the right direction. And, you know, I see our team to uh, hold ourselves and the organization to hold ourselves to a high standard um, that, um, you know, we, we have a vision for this team that we feel uh, we have goals that we are going to achieve this year. And, and uh, like I said, everyone's hungry and ready to go this year. And, and uh, there's a good energy in our locker room right now. Uh, I know camp hasn't started, but uh, there's a good excitement and, and we're looking forward to, um, you know, this upcoming season. Open it up for questions. Did Doug inform you about the uh, C and can you describe your emotion when you found out? Yeah, just... Uh, uh, I got a text on Wednesday afternoon, so obviously, uh, you know, long off season and, and uh, 
were unsure of obviously the direction of kind of what was going to happen, but, and they just met with them Friday morning. So like I said, between, uh, the four of us that are going to be a part of the leadership crew, um, you know, we're, we're excited for the opportunity to challenge, lean on each other. And, um, you know, not only that, uh, with the four guys, it's, it's ever in our locker room. We have guys that have won cups, guys that have a ton of experience. So, um, you know, the guys that are going to have voices that the four of us can lean on and, and, um, you know, like I said, get this thing moving, uh, to where it needs to be. Doug, was it a difficult decision and what ultimately led to the man on your right there? And uh, does he embody everything you want as a captain? Yeah, the last part first, yes, he does. Uh, as I said, I think I think the experience, the been there, done that, uh, we are transitioning. Uh, and I think having having somewhere someone in our group that uh, was a fifth overall pick that, that – uh, has played on a couple of organizations that there's not much that, that he hasn't seen that, that he can uh, share with the group. Uh, and also his, his persona on the ice is, is uh, St. Louis uh, original. And I think it's something that we want to continue with. Um, but the process started uh, uh, talking to a lot of different people in our organization, outside our organization in different sports on leadership, on, on leadership by committee, what it took. And as I said in my initial statement, I, I just kept coming back to, to experience uh, transitioning into a, into a new era. Um, and when, when I got to the criteria that was most important uh, for this team moving forward, uh, Schenner was the natural uh, option. Uh, obviously, these decisions aren't made in a vacuum. I had a lot of different uh, people giving me input and advice. Um, Great support from ownership, Mr. Stillman and, and his group, um, asking me the questions that went into the decision and, the, and then supporting the decision. Doug, who were some of those people that, uh, that informed the decision? On your uh, I, don't, I don't want to get into specific names. They're, they're former Blues players, former captains in the NHL that I've worked with uh, internationally, Hall of Fame players, Hall of Fame coaches, uh, different managers. As I said, it, it's something that we took very seriously. Uh, and when I talked to those people, I, it wasn't about individual names as the, it was about the formation of a leadership group and how it's changed and, and what goes into it. Uh, so there was a, obviously Craig, Craig and I talked quite a bit about it. We shared different ideas, uh, but it, it just became a overriding factor on, on the characteristics and where we were at as an organization. Uh, we have a vet. We still have a, a number of veteran players here. As we transition, their goal is to win today. Uh, their goal is to be uh, 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 led by by someone that has that same focus of winning today. And uh, we're excited about where we're at. Craig, I'm assuming that you believe that a captain still is needed in today's NHL. If that's the case, why do you believe so? And can you discuss your relationship with uh, Braden and why you think he's a good fit? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I think captain's important for sure. I think um, it completes your team, in my opinion. Um, like you know, we talk like these guys have talked about. This team's hungry uh, to prove themselves this year and and going forward. Uh, we still have a lot of veterans on our team. Um, we're still in the winning business here, so I think having a captain is important. That uh, in terms of that, um, Braden experience for sure. Um, Great character, toughness. I mean, he's he's been a blue here for five, six years now. He's learned from different captains that he talked about and saw how things were done. Um, he's won, and you know he leads by example. Uh, you can see like his teammates are here supporting him, so that's a good sign right there. You know, in my opinion, that they're here to show the support. Um, you know, I think Braden does everything the right way. You know, on and off the ice, he. Off the ice, you don't see all the little things he does, the work he puts in every day, you know, um, on the ice, off the ice, um, how, he can, how he treats his teammates and supports his teammates and helps his teammates. And then on the ice, you guys see what he does. You know, he brings toughness, he brings scoring, he brings all the intangibles that um, go into a captain. Brayden, I know you're obviously going to have to, you know, talk to us a lot more and participate in more puck drops and the like, but when it comes to the game, does your approach change at all now that you have a C on the front of your sweater? And if so, how? 
<clears throat> no, I think that's the, the biggest thing is you don't have to uh, reinvent yourself or, or change yourself a whole lot. Um, you just got to be who you are. And, and like I said, I think the, the, good under, the good leaders understand that it's just not you. Um, it's your teammates. It's your su support staff. Um, it's the people you rely on around you uh, to make your job easier. So um, like I said, I, I don't think you have to go in and, and just because you have a C in your jersey, just be a different person than you are. Um, you just have to be the, uh, more of the same and continue to grow and learn and, and uh, kind of you know, try and find the, be the best version of yourself. Braden, at the end of last year, some of the players talked about how off ice kind of affected on ice results. Uh, looking at what happened last year, how do you kind of try to change that going into this year? Yeah, I, I think, you know, this is obviously day one where we're going to get some questions of regarding last year. Um, but, um, you know, I think a lot of it, uh, we're going to put it in a rear view mirror and, and, and focus on this year. Um, you know, we feel like last year, um, you know, we got complacent at the start of the season and then we caught it or tried to catch it kind of throughout the whole season. And, and obviously, um, we had guys on expiring deals and stuff like that. And then before I know it, we were, we were too far behind to do anything. So, um, I'm going to touch on this year. I think, you know, if you look at our locker room right now, uh, we have guys that are come here, come here early, skate together early, uh, are getting together. Like I said, there's a good energy and a vibe, and, and guys are are showing that um, they weren't ha weren't happy with last year. So um, that's step one. Um, we have a lot of work to do, obviously, uh, leading up into the season. But we feel like guys are uh, have the right mindset, and that's most important. Uh, you know, going into training camp. Brayden, understanding that you don't want to change who you are, like you just said, what have you taken from, you touched on earlier, some captains that you've been a part of their teams that they've done that you want to become that type of guy? Yeah, it, it, could, be, it could be captains. Yeah. There's a lot of leaders that you can learn from that, um, you know, are not captains. And, and one guy, I think, I would say St. Louis, coming to St. Louis was probably the best thing for me. It was the best thing for my career and, and everything else. And just the guys I got to be around, how tight uh, everyone is, how the culture is. And, and one guy I learned, really learned from is Alex Dean. You know, um, you know, he was assistant captain as, with, along with Petro. Um, just, you know, what I really learned from him is how much he cared about his teammates, uh, how much he had a pulse on the dressing room. I know I'm talking <laughs> about him now. He's, he's part of the management team and stuff like that. But that's a guy that you're going to... Uh, probably going to get a text message or phone call or something like that uh, throughout the time. And, and like I said, I've had guys that I've learned from in Philadelphia back in the day with uh, the chemo team and Scott Hartnell's when you're a young guy, you just try to absorb everything and, and learn from those guys. And there's a reason why guys play as, as long as they do. Um, you know, not only are they are good people, um, they're always learning and always trying to get better. Um, you know, as, as, as a young guy learning from Anze Kopitar, there's, there's guys like that where you kind of look back in your experience and, and, uh, you kind of understand and, and, and realize why guys were doing things uh, the way they were. And, and uh, you know, you just try and uh, blend that all together and, and, and kind of come up with the right formula in your head that you think is right for the, the best for the team and, and the organization.